Hey, it's Joe Glines. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use stir split very simply to, you know, parse a string uh, and a cool way to do it. And the difference is kind of between a command and a function call. Uh, before we do, if you're not a subscriber yet, you can go to this URL above me. Please subscribe. Be my 6,000th subscriber. Uh, getting darn close. And I appreciate it. All right, let's jump into this. All right. So in my previous video, I was mentioning how this part, this new string, is probably something I want to use in my version name. This is the name of the file, this version is going to get saved. And in the other video, I didn't figure out a way to do that just because I was like, whatever. But you know what? It, it dawned on me, hey, this part right here, everything after the equal sign, is really a really good indicator of what that version of the file should be. So basically, if I had this on its own, not the whole thing, it'd be a great thing for this version. So why am I manually creating this? You know, I can borrow from this, right? So we're going to use string split. Now, first, we're going to, I'm going to show you a different way using commands, which I don't, I almost never use, or I try not to use them. And uh, so string split, uh, output array, uh, it's an array. It's actually, I think, a pseudo array. So we're going to say array, comma, input far is new string. Uh, and the delimiter, uh, I don't think I need to double quote this. I want the equal sign, right? So it's going to parse this string on the equal sign. And so the first thing is going to be everything to the left, because since there's only two, and the next one is going to be this. If I had a third equal sign, it would this one would be two, and the third would be over here. But let's do a message box percent array. Uh, let's do, well, let's do two is what we want to reach, right? So save this, reload it, run it. So look, I I sliced this, and I got one hots from here programmatically. So I could use this. Um, as my version, right? I could shove it into version or I could rename, where is it right here? I could rename uh, the array as, um, now I would have to use, um, I could rename array so to be version, but down below, because this is an array, I don't have control of it. I would have to say, hey, this is actually, you know, um, version two, right? In order for this to work. Okay, so let me reload this. There we go. So version two. And in my program, I would use version two or I'd save it as a new variable, but whatever. Right. But let me show you a better, to me, a much better approach is we're going to use uh, the function call string split instead of the command. So I'm going to comment this out. Uh, let's go ahead and yeah, we'll comment that out. And uh, I'm going to use um, stir split. Actually, let's, let's put it here because this is going to be what we're going to, I'm going to put it into version. And we're going to say stir split. Uh, what variable are we going to parse on? Again, it's new string. The delimiters. Now here you do quote encapsulate, so wrap it in double quotes. And we're going to parse on the equal sign. And uh, I'm not going to omit any characters. So this is going to shove the whole thing into version. And now here it's just slightly different. So I'm going to say message box percent sign version. And now because this is actually an object, I'm going to say dot one, right? Oh, that's the left. I should have done dot two. Excuse me. So here we go. Reload, run there. Now I'm parsing that. Now here's the really cool thing, right? That, that, I, that you can do um, instead of doing this and saying, now I need to use version dot two, which is what we would then have to have changed it down below also is my previous example. However, what's really cool is I'm going to borrow, I'm going to cut this here and I'm going to put it on this. Now this is directly going to access this second element in that array uh, and shove it into version. So now when I save and reload and run it, now it's getting what I want, right? We're getting that version without creating um, a different variable name and whatever. And theoretically, if, if I had this, I could put this actually in my function call later where I'm saving it and not even need to create a variable, right? It's going to automatically, uh, you know, parse whatever this new string is, get the second element from that I, item, I should say, and, uh, and be able to use it. So just a simple thing to show you how one functions are a little, to me, they're a little simpler and a little clearer. And uh, in version two of auto hockey compared to version one, uh, everything are function calls. Uh, in version one, you still have commands and that's where it starts to get confusing when you're using commands. When I actually, I started making this video a few minutes ago and I hadn't used a command and string split for so long. I forgot how to how to actually access it. I was wrapping this with percent signs because in my head, that's what you should do. But in an array, a pseudo array from on a hotkey, you just access it this way. Uh, but here, um, I'm showing you how using a function call 
right? It's much simpler, cleaner to me, much easier to understand. And it has dot notation, which gives you a lot of uh, benefits to it. So uh, the other interest, really interesting thing I thought was, uh, I, when I was practicing this, I was trying to do an is object off of this, uh, off of version, not version, sorry. Yeah, version, yeah, the array. And it's not, so let's put it right here. So is object. And I thought, oh, okay, let's make sure this is working the way we think it would. And this, to me, should have come back as a one, but it doesn't. So it again, it's, it's a pseudo array. It's not actually an object. But if we put this down here, oh, because it's, yeah, well, there, it's, it's clearly not an object because I'm, there we go. There we go. That's an object, right? Which we can, if we use Maestrius function for peeking inside version, let me comment this out. We'll see there are two items in this array. Here's the first one and the second one, right? So this is the M function I use a lot. Uh, but yeah, arrays are, are fun and objects are fun. And I much prefer them over using commands and they're just, to me, they make a lot more sense. But I think it's very cool that we can access this element without actually saving it. And we could we could access the first one as well. So we could actually say um, first space, and I'm going to borrow all this one. Oops. Oh, let's put second here. Second. Yeah, I'll put a space there. And let's put, oh, that actually wouldn't work right there. There we go. So we run it. So see how it says first um, is this and second is that. So we're accessing both of these at the same time without even storing them in a variable. And I just think that's, that's pretty awesome. And the second that this gets past it, these things go away. You don't have to worry about blanking out your variable because it never even had a variable. So anyway, hope that helps. Uh, please remember, if you're not a subscriber, I'd love it if you get there because I'm trying to get that 6,000 subscriber. Cheers.